be impressed. So for today's lesson, we will be talking about the Civil War. Now, what is the Civil War? A Civil War is a war within the country. So basically, instead of the United States fighting another country, it is practically fighting itself. The North and the South were both part of the United States, but they were only parts. Two parts, in fact. Not one big part like a country should be. Though the two were a union, they didn't often cross each other. The North was far more industrial than the South. They had better factories and machines. They could produce more finished goods, such as guns and or muskets. The North had much, much more money. Their population was greater. The South, however, had slaves that weren't treated in their favor, farmed on the most fertile lands, and grew the best tobacco. And considering that both sides were sometimes envious of the other, they often traded goods. The two sides got along okay. However, the North was not very fond of the South's poor treatment of slavery. In fact, the North despised slavery. Now, about the South. African Americans were brought over from many places, mostly Africa, in ships, ships packed to be sold at auction-type surroundings. Families were separated. The worst had come. After a while, the North was fed up with the South. They often thought the slaves were being lazy and drawn back and were depending far too much on slavery. In fact, there had been many efforts from their side in order to prevent slavery, but they never were worked. Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president, was a Republican. He strongly opposed slavery. After a difficult election, Lincoln won his presidency, even though he was not much favorited by the South. The South was outraged. At once they decided to go for secession. But Abraham Lincoln knew that this was not something that he should allow. For he knew that if the states seceded now, the other states in the future would think they could leave the country any time they preferred. The South was already mad at the North, but never had said anything. In fact, the North kept getting them mad at, at many little things. After those little things started building up, the South was bound to blow. The attack on Fort Sumter in 1861 officially triggered the Civil War. The Civil War had begun. The two most known generals in the Civil War were Robert E. Lee and the, for the Confederacy and Ulysses S. Grant, a future president for the Union. They led some of the most major battles of the Civil War. The most memorable battle, most would say, is the Battle of Gettysburg. The Battle of Gettysburg was fought throughout July 1st and July 3rd in 1863 around the town of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Perhaps it was most memorable because of the amount of men and women that died there, or perhaps it was most memorable because of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. After five years of war, the Civil War finally ended. Who won? The Union. Saves were freed throughout the entire nation. This deadly Civil War cost the lives of hundreds, thousands of men and women across the country. Why was the Civil War the most devastating of all the wars? It was because this war took place within its own country, and this war fought its own people. There you have it, the Civil War, the war that cost the lives of many.